you're watching an episode of Shiftcast. You can catch the full episode on our YouTube channel or on Spotify. Let's get right into it. Today we've got an exciting episode. Tomorrow begins the Shift Summer League. Obviously, we had play-ins and quals and whatnot last week. We're getting into league play starting tomorrow. And so we brought Flitz in. He qualified with his team. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit. But first, what I want to do is rewind a bit. And Flitz, um, let's talk about this RLCS season. So you've been kicking around for a while. When did you start um, When did you start seriously competing? Like, when did you put a team together for quals? You know, so the thing about my career that's very interesting, and I think about this sometimes, is my first two years of Rocket League, I was just a sub. I didn't start competing competitively till I was like mid-17 years old. And my first serious team was Angel and Kiri. And then we ended up making Gamers 8. And then it cut into, uh, right after that was like, I had like a very weird season. I had a bunch of teams kind of hopping around. Then I was on gaming for a little bit. And now we're chilling and incorrect. And I think so far, this has been my favorite team so far. Um, the org's been great, and it's been really nice to being with them. But, I mean, ha just talking about this last RLCS season, um, that first split was really nice with uh, Angel again and Tool. We got a 9th through 11th, and then, sadly, I got kicked, which was a little unfortunate, but we had a nice regain with Expert and Toasty. And I think with the cards we were dealt, kind of making a team in the middle of the season with everything kind of going on, uh, the fact that we were able to make the regional and just kind of show teams what we were made of, I, I was very happy with for yeah. for this for the cards I was dealt, I was happy with the the season that I had. Um, right, I would say. So, you, you know, we talked about this a little bit beforehand, but we've got plenty of opinions rolling around about Carmen Court missing a major, Moist, uh, excuse me, miss, um, missing a regional, mm -hmm. Moist, missing a regional. Same with Rebellion, Dignitas over in NA, and so you know a lot of the focus with this format change from last season where we had. Um, you know, 9 through 16, waiting on Sunday. We had the Swiss stage um, versus this format, which was totally wide open with all players on every team's uh, on every team competing in a double ELIM format. So there's some there's some different discussion about it, but I, I think one of the things that has not been talked about a whole lot is those teams that are, we'll say, like 9th through 24th mm -hmm. and what that impact on them was. So what do you think, like, uh, from your perspective, what is the biggest difference from last season to this season? Is it a level a, a, a level of consistency with quality um, on Sunday? Does it feel like it's kind of just a because from the outside it looks like it's almost it's almost just like a luck of the draw thing? Like yeah. if you end up in one of those lower brackets where a TSM falls down or an NRG falls down early or something, you might just have a really tough go that day. Mm -hmm. And with only six events this season, I'm curious what your take on that is as a player that's right there in that middle. So my take on this season, and this was kind of the story of my life this entire quals, was like, it's very dependent on your seed. And yeah. I hate to say luck, but it almost is a little luck-based, right? Sure. I think one of the best ways yeah. to go about quals is the Swiss format. I think with the way Swiss works, it really rewards the best of the best teams. Whereas double elim, it's like one series can go wrong and one series can go right. And just like that, you get a favorable matchup. Yeah. One thing that I think is very insane to me is on the last qualifier of the season, we had to play Snowman first round um, in, in the upper bracket. We ended up getting that upset, which was a great win for us, right? Snowman got a top four earlier that split. We were able to get a 3-1 win over them. It was great. We played Cloud9 next. And then after we lost to Cloud9 on the qualifier match, we found out that, that were, there was a world that we played TSM because TSM lost as well. Yeah. The fact that we had to play Snowman, Cloud9, and TSM just to qualify yeah. um, is, is insane to me. I don't think anyone that, – that's like a top eight, like – Right. Swiss in the regional type of type of mm -hmm. run. So the fact we had to do that even just to qualify was was kind of crazy to me. So the way I see yeah. it is, I think the biggest problem for this nine to twenty four the, those teams is double elim is too unpredictable True. and it is very unforgiving. Mm -hmm. I think even K Corp missing out on that regional, they didn't lose to any bad teams by any True. means. They lost to regional level teams. I don't think they have. I think if you have like a Swiss style format uh, for quals instead of a double elim, and yes, K Corp should be winning that. Sure. But I, they would, they would like the best of the best. Sixteen teams would be making it through Swiss. I think Swiss mm -hmm. is the best way to go about it. Whereas double Elim is a little bit volatile and it's very unforgiving. Yeah, yeah. And and you brought up a good point too. It's very, very heavily dependent on seeding. And mm -hmm. we saw. I, I think the the thing that we kind of concluded is basically your one through sixteen. When in, and and I'm just I'm saying when the community looks at it and you rank you know, you're one through 16. Mm -hmm. Those 16 teams have to be perfect until Sunday. 
Yeah. And if one of them is not perfect until Sunday, it's going to cause a wrench in, you know, one area of the bracket. Mm. And we saw that play out a few different times over the season. Thank you for watching this segment of the Shiftcast. Again, you can catch the full episode here on our YouTube channel or on Spotify. Thank you for watching.